Happening right now, the parade of ships, naval ships from the U.S. and three other counties, countries rather, on their way to their Memorial Day ports, and you'll be able to check them out. CBS News' John Elliott is on Pier 88 for this morning's festivities. And John, what can you tell us? You want me to step up as well? <laughs> I got to tell you, Chris, you would. Uh... I mean, I, I'm so impressed. First off, the average age of the uh, young men behind me is about 21. And uh, I just uh, real quickly have to put this into perspective. These are the men that perform the, the very sober and somber task of funerals and uh, anything at, uh, at Arlington, right? So I was just asking him, how many funerals have you done? And the average is between 200 and 300 funerals. Obviously, it's such a serious task. And that, again, it's just part of what they do. So Senior Chief Eris Rayner uh, is here. Um, uh, first off, how great is it to be here for Fleet Week? Oh, it's awesome. I'm having a good time, get to show, show the Navy. It's pretty good, pretty awesome. But you guys have got... I, and. The correct way to say it is these are performances that you do, right? Yes, sir. So again, we we had you on earlier this morning, and it was like amazing. How much time does it take to get these individual drills set so nobody gets hurt? Um, it takes about a year of practice. These guys practice on a daily to be able to hone in on the skill. And I wanted to ask, well, it's, by the way, they're all very tall. Um, uh, you're, you're a fireman, right? Yes, sir. So that is your rank, fireman? Yes, sir. I'm an electrician in the Navy. Now, talk, talk about this weapon. What is this weapon? This doesn't, this obviously is not a live weapon, but how much does it weigh? This is a 1903 A1 Springfield, and it weighs about 10 pounds. And then how long does it take to get used to it? I mean, as far as the spinning and the tossing, how many practices does it take? Oh, countless hours. As soon as we get in, it's... We drill during the day, and then after work's over, we go back and do it some more so we can get it, so we can come out here and do it for the public. I saw you nod your head. <laughs> you countless hours. What do you, what do you like about what you do for the United States Navy? Um, so right now at the ceremonial guard, it, we do a lot of really awesome things in terms of going to funerals, going to uh, state ceremonies and arrivals for um, dignitaries all around the world that come here to see our president and. To have that honor to be there as a part of the military. But I mean, you, it's an honor, but it's a front row seat, too. I mean, that's just amazing. And now I think I've got to make sure I get the right shoes. Um, just real quickly, Walter, I just want to show you if you can see me. So you're going to see if he were to lift his foot up, he's got that medal and he's got that medal and he's also got something on the bottom. Why do we have so much metal on your footwear? Um, that's to make sure that when we're marching uh, during funerals in Arlington that we're able to stay in step. So when we're marching or walking, it should be one sound when we're stepping. Now also, these are your, I, I want us to get this right, are these formal? What do you call the, the uniform that you're wearing right now? Um, so we call these uh, CUs with, uh, with leggings. Um, so we have the ceremonial brass, the leggings on the bottom along with the taps, uh, ceremonial neckerchief with the Asquak and Dickey as well. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Queens, New York. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Where are you? you? Do you have to stay with these guys or do you get to go sleep in your own bed? Uh, I have to stay with these guys, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so <laughs> yes, sir. So um, uh, the other thing, too, now, you won't wear these when you're on the street, but you're going to be in regular, you know, your regular, you want people to come up and say hi, right? Yes, sir. We're going to be in our regular dress whites. So you want to say hi. You want to greet people. This guy looks very shy and terrified right now. <laughs> I'm not saying anything to you. <laughs> Thank you all for your service. Every time we go back to the studio and I say, hey, back to you, both Mary, Chris, anybody I'm talking to, we're all saying thank you for your service. I'm going to get out of the frame. And uh, Mary and Chris, these young men, sacrifice, service, honor, and also ceremony. That's just part of Fleet Week, and you're going to be seeing them around our great city this weekend. Back to you. As I always like to say, John, if you see any of our service members around the city, buy them a drink, give them a high five, maybe pick up the dinner table, whatever you can do to thank them for their service. And please, John, pass along our thanks for a job well done day in and day out.